Welcome to Bible Bites. I'm Pastor Dan and we are reading through the Bible one small bite at a time. We're in Matthew 7. We're going to actually end the chapter today, but we're going to start with verse 24. Everyone who hears these words of mine, this is Jesus speaking, and what words is Jesus talking about? Well, you can find out by looking at all the previous videos where we've been actually reading through the teaching of Jesus. So everyone who hears these words of mine and does them. Now, it's important to note that they don't just hear, but they actually do. A wise, it will be like a wise man who built his house on the rock. That gives us kind of a pretty, me, a pretty good mental picture of, of something pretty sturdy, really stable, uh, built on a foundation that it's not going to crumble, that can withstand just about anything. It says, And the rain fell, and the floods came, the winds blew, and beat on that house, but it did not fall because it had been founded on the rock. The reason it didn't fall is because it had a very firm foundation. This is a picture, a word picture, symbolizing a person who builds their life on the Word of God or on these teachings of Jesus. Not just a person who hears, but a person who actually does. A person who has united themselves with the God of the Bible, uh, united themselves to Him only, and then responds to Him in a relationship of love. And thus, keeping these words or doing them isn't like just simply uh, obeying a bunch of rules or obeying a bunch of laws. That's not at all what it's about. But it's about truly being able to respond to God, recognizing His own wisdom and the power of His Word, of His truth, the righteousness of His Word, and then building on that, living that out. All right, the, the, the floods, uh, the rains, and the winds, those symbolize all types of trouble. Uh, I think little troubles that we face in this earth, like car breaking down, big troubles, uh, you know, that could be uh, even facing death itself. But it also refers to things like the judgment of Jesus Christ in the end days, the last times when all will be uh, accountable to Jesus and he, and he makes judgments on our actions, on what we do and, and didn't do. Uh, this very well could refer to salvation. Um, you know, is, is there a faithful loyalty to the God of the scriptures, uh, to Jesus Christ, or is there not a, that faithful loyalty at all? So, okay, let's look at now the opposite of what happens when we don't build our life on the foundation of God's word, or on the foundation of Jesus' teachings. It says, um, it says everyone, verse 26, who hears these words of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. And the rains fell, floods came, the winds blew and beat against the house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. So it fell because it hadn't built on a firm foundation. The only firm foundation is, is God's foundation, His Word, His truth, uh, which is the teachings of Jesus also. Uh, and it says, great was the fall of it. So uh, we get a picture of, of uh, pretty good destruction there, right? Uh, yeah, so Jesus is teaching us, build on God's word. Build your life on God's word. Don't just hear, but do. And then let's finish up with verse 28. It says, and when Jesus finished these sayings, the crowds were astonished at his teaching. He, for he was teaching them as one who had authority and not as their scribes. So Jesus wasn't just making commentary on something he was reading or something that was a, an, an opinion from someone, but he was actually uh, the authority uh, sent from God, giving them the very words and truth of God. Hopefully you are astonished too at the teaching of Jesus, and hopefully you build your life on his word, on the rock. We'll see you in our next video where we'll pick up with chapter 8.